Hello! So, it's a beautiful day, the sun is out, the birds are singing. Let's talk to Arthur. This one is specifically directed at the people who support torture. I know, I know, you weren't expecting this kind of Spanish Inquisition. Neither were some of the guys at Gitmo. Let's start with the issue of can we even be sure that we're getting the truth? A lot of people seem to see torture as a necessary evil. That's certainly how it's being depicted in American movies and on American television. However, I think if we can't trust the information we're getting out of it, we might as well drop the necessary and just call it plain evil. How can you be sure that someone who is well-trained, indoctrinated from childhood, would give you the accurate information? He hates you. He really does. He doesn't mind dying. What makes you think that you're going to be able to threaten him to tell you the truth? And just because he doesn't tell you anything for many, many hours of brutal torture doesn't mean that he is incredibly well trained to resist torture. He may be completely innocent. And in case you do completely believe, in case you are 100% certain that any information gathered under torture is entirely accurate, then I have a real kicker of a counter-argument for you. In fact, I really wonder why this hasn't turned more people against torture. Remember where else torture was used? That's right, the witch trials. Now, either you believe that those people were actually witches and you can go right on believing that all the information gathered under brutal torture is entirely accurate. Of course, that also means you still believe in witches. Do I even need to elaborate? However, if realizing that maybe these were just completely innocent women, then this should very well make you doubt the accuracy of the intel currently being gathered by torture. And finally, let's look at just the moral, ethical side of this. If it doesn't bother the people in charge of it, then why is it being called advanced interrogation techniques? And yes, I realize that there are wars, but let's just stop and take a look at what we're doing, what we're becoming. And just in case there's anyone watching this who would argue that, well, it's all over the Old Testament, yes it is. Now, if you would like us to go back to any of the other things of the Old Testament in which a woman had no right to sexuality, slavery was common and encouraged, and in general, freedom and rights were a thing of the future then please stand up and be counted so that the rest of us know who you are that want to take us back to the Dark Ages.